a.m. to help the blind see. And my colleague, Ted News reporter John Horn, was the only reporter there when they were tested out. Chula Vista resident George Rivas is blind, but on yeah, Friday, he got a second pair something. of eyes. A good working pair of eyes. Those eyes came in the form of Google Glass. The smart glass is not available to the general public. They're fit with a camera, an earpiece, and Bluetooth, three tools that can help someone who can't see. Rivas was at the San Diego Center for the Blind, testing a service by San Diego-based Ira, founded by two UCSD grads. The glass is connected to a smartphone, and on the other end was a person helping him find the shampoo in the bathroom or pick the correct can of soup. This is the Google Glass. It starts up front with the camera. This is the control panel. This is the speaker, and when someone needs assistance, they press this button, and it calls via the cell phone or iPhone with Bluetooth. During Friday's testing, the person on the other side of that button was either at the center or at Iris headquarters in La Jolla. But co-founder Yuja Chang says once the product is released, Ira will operate like Uber. It'll have independent contractors providing on-demand services. And they can be virtually anywhere, be their home, be in the office, or anywhere, a coffee shop. Chang says it's too early to know the price. As for Revis, he says Ira can help with small things that can make a big difference. It's exciting to feel that you could go out and look for that medium red shirt, or you could go and find the local bar. Revis says that little voice, maybe thousands of miles away, would have an outsized impact on his confidence. In Mid-City, John Horn, 10 News. And I'm telling you, this affects a lot more people than you realize. The San Diego Center for the Blind estimates that there are about 100,000 people in San Diego County who are blind. And this service is expected to be available in April.